Agarlo. Bar, oh, what a goal. I told you. What a goal by Agarlo. Lovely goal by Agarlo, that is. To the United Stand. Hope you're all doing well. We've got a bit of a uh, bit of delay on this camera today. I don't know what that's all about. No, it seems to be all right now. Um, sorry about that. Uh, let me just lock that in. There we go. And uh, yeah, how are we all doing? How are we all doing? Manchester United playing Linz tonight or Lask Linz. Uh, we are, we're actually in the ground, I think, which is uh, rather interesting this for today. this uh, game as well. So. Uh, <laughs> We, uh, Flex has managed to get in and uh, hopefully we'll be in the press conference a little bit later as well, which means that we can, uh, um, what I want to do a little bit later on in the show, maybe when the game's on, is uh, try and get a gauge of what you lot would like to be asked if we can get in and we can ask a question again, because it was a good question asked about Angel Gomez last night, so we might be able to do that. I'm surprised that Delo's not playing today, I've got to be honest, I have. I would have thought that Delo would have been playing. Um, I've definitely, I'll tell you what, I've definitely got allergies. Like, I've just had my dinner, and my nose is going again. I've definitely got allergies. I don't know what it is. And for, before anybody comes out with something stupid about this virus, it's clearly not that, because it's not... Um, I haven't got a sore throat or a cough. But uh, So the midfield three. What's the midfield? wan arrest, isn't it? I, I don't really have a major problem with that. Um, but uh, Flex is loving life. He's actually pitch side at the moment, doing tweets and stuff. How the other half live. Thanks to you lot that we uh, can actually afford to send Flex over to these games. How how's Flex managed to get in is uh, is uh, is a rather interesting thing, isn't it? But uh, he has on that island. But uh, yeah, so I think that we are we are heading very. I think we're in bor we're, we're almost in borrow time now with regards to this. Now, what the future holds for football, I don't know. What does the future hold for anything at the moment? Um, there will be a future, of course, there'll be a future, but we don't know what that future is going to be. My hope is that you know it's a bit like you know it's a bit like Apollo thirteen when it goes behind the moon. When it's behind the moon, all, all communication stops, and you're just waiting to come out the other side. And I think this is a brilliant analogy that I think the the world as a, as a human race at the moment we're, we're hurtling towards the moon. We're just about to go round the back of it. We don't know how long we're going to be round that back before we come round the other side back to Earth. So I don't know. I can't give you the answers on that at the moment. Score prediction? Did I? Um, my score prediction, I think I'm going to go... I, I gave it in the preview. I said 3-0, maybe 4-0. I think I'm going to stick with that. I think United will probably not have to get out of fourth gear to win this today. 3,000 PSG supporters celebrating with the players outside the stadium, says Josh and Alexander. Oh, I'll tell you what. PSG can do one. I bloody hate them. I thought what they did to Haaland was just despicably bad taste and... I don't. I don't like the word bully because they weren't bullying. But ultimately, that's the that's the mentality of a bully. That's why people do bully. Agarlo, keep us off his line. I mean, they basically all sat down and copied his celebration, didn't they? So you, you're trying to humiliate him. I I, I think it's uh, disgusting. And I know some people say, well, it's banter. I think you know they're better than that. This was a bit of an experiment for me tonight as well. I mean, we're 13 minutes in, and not having fans in the ground, it just doesn't feel good does it and this is what you know if I said to you in the live comments now you've got a choice we can suspend football for two months and see where we are or we can play every game and every game does get played and we do finish the season but every game's played behind closed doors what would you do would you would you suspend it or would you just continue playing behind closed doors because I think I'd suspend it I just think no nah, I think football without fans is just they're part of the they're part of the they're part of the atmosphere. Well, they are the atmosphere, but they're part of the entertainment. Oh, nearly getting Dan James away. Picks it up again. Into Agarlo. Bar, oh, what a goal. I told you. What a goal by Agarlo. Lovely goal by Agarlo, that is. And I tell you what, cold. It's Agarlo. And I told you we'd score before half an hour. What a hit. Absolutely fa fantastic. And uh, he is probably, at this moment in time getting himself uh, a new contract at Manchester United because that goal out of nothing is really it comes from it's, I say come, I say I say nothing it's Bruno again Bruno uh, Bruno's determination 
driving forward, getting through tackles. Lovely little ball into Agarlo. Takes it down. Oh, three touches and bang. Off his left foot as well. Absolutely cracking goal by Agarlo. Bruno with the driving run. Another assist. I mean, that probably technically won't be an assist for Bruno, will it? Because of the touches that uh, Agarlo takes. They have these stupid assist rules, but he sort of bobbles it off both feet. That's a cracking goal. Doesn't do it justice the first time. That is an absolute cracking goal by Agarlo. Oli loves it. He's there, sat there going, ooh, but what a, what a hit. What an absolute belter by Agarlo. Deserved to be in front of a crowd, that. He's going to go himself. It's football intelligence there for me, Dan James. There was a pass to Bruno, uh, to Fred. It's a good run. He's got a run of Fred. He runs past Fred. He can see the run of Fred. He doesn't play Fred in. DJFI. That's my note for match reaction. Football intelligence again. But... Uh, you, you, you can't whether we whether we play the second leg next week. You can't see United. I mean, this was always a very good draw for United, but you can't see us having any problems. I'm going to wind up a load of Arsenal fans with my latest treat as well. Uh, my latest tweet is going to absolutely wind up Arsenal fans. So you might get a few of them in here who aren't even in the Europa League. But I think we're at half time when you need them. Um, Shivan, Mark, we love Martial, but you have to accept that Agarlo is potentially better than him. Tony do have wonder goals, but he goes off. Po no, what a load of crap! You've you've done a super chat for that. What a load of nonsense! And agree, would, look, I, and look, it's all about opinion. I've just got to say, you know, let me read it again, so I'm not being totally dismissive. Shivan Kara says Martial um, is not as good as Agarlo, and Agarlo is potentially better than him. It's all about opinion. Um, I think that opinion's a load of crap, but. A lot of you probably agree with it. So there you go. That's how it works on here. And Anil Pauyupan says, agree, would you completely about Mark United Stand Members Club? Uh, Mark, just be honest. Agarlo is levels above Martial. I would even put Greenwood ahead of Martial now. Just be honest, Mark, says Jahamal Mohamed. And well done for wasting a fiver to talk a load of crap. But thanks for the contribution. But, you know, maybe, maybe some people will believe you. The world is full of fools. I'm joking. At least you've had your say. So I, I can't even take credit for it. It wasn't my idea. Dan James, 2v2. Football intelligence. Doesn't need it. Bang. Dan James, what a goal. He doesn't need football intelligence there when he gets his head down and does it himself. I love it. The Welsh wizard, Mark 2, gets a lot of stick. But that is a fantastic finish. And the United fans, the United players are there to give him some love. But I tell you what, I love that goal from Dan James because he's been getting a lot of stick. And I've said, look, his football intelligence isn't there yet, but that's not his fault. He's come up from the championship. He's a young lad. He's been overplayed and he has got raw talent. And I think those people who think he just gets his head down and run, that's not what he does because he runs forward here. He cuts inside a player and he gets a shot off. And every this is the thing. Everybody's finding their feet now. Everybody's playing well in this team. Everybody's responding. I'm really pleased for Dan James there. That just shows that this is what we saw from Dan James at the start of the season. He's he's a fantastic player. He's better than Pepe. That's simple. Put it in the put it in the back of the net. And uh, lovely, lovely goal from uh, Dan James. Love it. Let, let me just put that out on a tweet just to wind them up. This will this will really do it. Arsenal fans, not even in the tournament. Dan James. Let me type. Dan James, proving. He's better than Pepe again. What a goal. Lovely stuff. Love it. Love it. And you know what? United are just putting out... Put, oh, quick, quick. You see, that's Dan James there. That's the problem with Dan James. And it's not a problem. It's constructive criticism. He wins the ball there. And if you look up, Agarlo's in. But he's got his head down. He's a head down player. He doesn't get his head up. He's thinking about going past the next man and he doesn't look up enough. And that's what's going to be the difference between whether Dan James is going to be a great player or a very good player because he's got to get his head up in those situations. But uh, there's definitely a player there. I did say 3-0. I was right to say 3-0. It's Fred Tamata. It's 3-0. 
I, I tell you what, sometimes you're in the groove. Well, United are in the groove, but sometimes I'm in the groove. I said we'd score within the next 10 minutes with the first one when we did. And I said 3-0, and it's 3-0. One matter. 3-0 to Manchester United. Tie officially over. Oli looks like a... Look, looks just like... That's it then, isn't it? It is. It is Oli. That is it. It's well and truly it. Manchester United, 3-0. Lovely ball by Fred. Lovely take back from Mata, who actually started the move. I tell you what, I tell you what, Fleck, I might not be there, but one Mata, he's been superb tonight. He's been the best player on the pitch. And uh, it's a lovely goal. Lovely goal. But you, you, you're you never going to expect Mata not to score in those situations. And uh, United leading 3-0. 3-0 to Manchester United. And he... Yo, yes, 4-0, Mason Greenwood, lovely hit, he has got such a great record, Greenwood, hasn't he, it's fed into him down the left-hand side, United now 4-0 up, let me change that score straight away, it's been a very, very straightforward evening for Manchester United, but these sort of performances don't happen unless you're playing well, and it's fed in, but I think it's Fred again. Slide rule pass. There's still a lot for Green with a lovely left foot. He makes it look so easy. He's got a little bit to do here down the left-hand side. Uses his right to cut in and then hits it in off both posts. He'll be loving that. Well done. Well done to that lad. Lovely little goal there. Rashford, when he's fit, has got a good goal to game ratio. 5-0. 5-0. Pereira. I tell you what. How the hell has that happened? Andres Pereira. Is, has just hit a shot from probably about 40 yards out. And Manchester United are now 5-0 up. And it's Andres Pereira. Oh, I've got to see this back again. I was too busy changing the score. And Oli will just be loving this. Because he knows in the second leg. Andres Pereira. Keeper should never get beaten by this. It's an absolute clangor. There's nothing good about this goal. <laughs> There's actually nothing good about it. I mean, fair play to Pereira. Let's clap him. But the keeper, oh my life, he's had a right clangor there. He really has. That is a joke of a goal, to be honest. But it's it's a goal for Andres Pereira in, in a situation where he's had a bit of a dodgy season. And I think that's the final whistle as well. Is it? It is. Manchester United have won 